Hey guys, this is Brian aka Texas Treasures and today I'm bringing you another closet review. Um, over the past two months I've had over $9,000 in sale on Poshmark and I'm trying to share some of the tips and tricks that I've learned to help you figure out how to make some improvements in your closet to boost your sales up. Um, on my last closet review, Poshmark closet review, I had, an, I had a message from Rob and he asked me to take a look at his closet because he said he's had over 550 sales since he's joined Poshmark and looks like he joined in February of 2018, so about two years ago, but his complaint is that his daily sales are not consistent enough. So let's take a look into his sales, um, his sales in his closet to see if we can offer any suggestions. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that red subscribe button below, smash the like button, and comment below if you have any suggestions for Rob, or if you'd like me to take a look at your closet and give you a closet review, I'd be glad to do that. Uh, just check out the information in the comment so section below, and I'll be glad to take a look at it for you. All right, so when we go to Rob's closet, we, we find out that Rob's been on... Poshmark since uh, February of 2018. He, we see he's he's ha has about 24,000 followers and 26,000 people he's following. Um, that right there is one one thing I would look at. First of all, you you need to get more followers, and the best way to do that is to go into bigger closets and and follow the people that are following them. For example, let's just say you had a really large closet and I wanted to gain some quick followers real quickly. I would click on your followers and it's real simple. From here, I could just go down here and, and click follow. And you gotta excuse my internet, it's acting really slow today. Um, you can get up to a thousand follows like this. So, so you know, in a matter of minutes, you could gain a lot of followers and every one of these people that you follow would follow you back. So number one suggestion would boost the number of followers you have. And one of the ways you can do that is by following people because a lot of them will follow you back. All right, let's look at what's going on here besides that. Um, the other thing Rob says he has 1,158 listings and I asked him for his 30 day share total. His 30 day share total is at 13,943. One of the unique, unique things about Poshmark that makes it different from eBay is when you share your item, let's say, so let's say I'm gonna share it for him, right? But if Rob was sharing his own item, what that does is that will boost that item to the top of the search result, results. So if somebody was looking for um, this, like the Cypress Green Mountain Hardware Monkey Pro Jacket, so if they, if they were searching for this brand, um, once he shares it, his will move to the top. They don't, that's, that's Poshmark's default. So the more you share your closet, the higher up your items will show up in ranking. So that's always one of my top um, recommendations is, yeah, you do want to increase your followers, um, I wouldn't even really mess with sharing other people's closet. Get your followers up, but the most important thing you can do is to share your own closet. I would recommend you do that at least three times per day. And I did the math. If you, if you have 1,158 items in your closet, and if you shared them three times a day over the course of a month, 30 days, you'd be looking at 104,220 self-shares. You're at about 13,000, so you're at about 14,000, where you need to be at 104,000. So that is, in itself, is the, probably the biggest reason you're not getting more sales um, than you currently are. Just to compare, my closet, I have 1,226 items, so just a little bit more than you. And I, I do share mine about 4,000 times a day, which brings me up to about 179,000. So our closets are close in size. You share, share yours about 14,000 times over the past month, where mine has been shared almost 180,000 times. And that right there, that, that's the biggest discrepancy. Well, well, and I'm sure, right, I can already hear, hear people out there, well, sharing your closet is time consuming. I agree it is. 
Um, what I would recommend is maybe find someone. Do you, do you have a relative, someone that you can pay 10 bucks an hour just to sit there and share your closet three times a day? Um, that's That would be something I would consider because I know if, if you're paying 10, 20 bucks out a day um, for someone, and it's okay for other people, according to the terms and conditions for other people, as long as they're humans, to share your closet. And even if you're paying out a little bit, once you start to do that, once I made that shift, my sales shot up dramatically. It more than pays for what you're paying out um, to, to have someone help you share your closet. Just make sure it's not a bot and that it's a real person. Um, of course, the other option is you could just share it more yourself, right? And I know it's a little time consuming. If you got free time, if you're standing in line, if, if you're waiting in line, sit on the couch, just share, 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 or get someone to help you share. That would make the biggest difference. All right. Okay. Beyond that, um, let's take a look. You've got a soccer screen mountain. You got a Puma hoodie. That's a cute cat. Looks like, actually I have a cat. Penny looks similar to that. <laughs> uh, Under Armour, cold gear, uh, pencil skirt, BC, BG. We have an Adidas top. So we've got a pretty nice LL Bean, great brand. Adidas, really good brand. So you've got a and Taylor. You've got a good mix of item items. You got some good brands. You've got some UGG boots. Actually, I sold a pair like this um, a few months ago. You've got some Keen. So you've got some good brands. You're doing a really good job on your sourcing. Um, I don't know if you're if you're hitting thrift stores, maybe garage sales, the outlet bins, how you're getting them, but you got lots of shoes. Shoes do sell really well. Shoes are one of my staples. So good job on um, sourcing. Good job on having a lot of items listed. And good job on the brands. One, and your pictures aren't bad. It looks like you're using natural light. And a lot of them have this door behind it, this kind of grayish background. I'm not sure if this was in a light box or not. By the way, um, I would recommend uh, uh, to for you to consider using a light box. And by the way, if you look in my uh, descriptions in the, my link in the descriptions below, you'll see some of the things I use to sell on Poshmark and eBay, including a Havix light box. Um, and another thing you can do is use PhotoFuse. I, I've, I've been talking about this app, PhotoFuse, F-O-T-O-F-U-Z-E. It's a really great app. It's on either the desktop or an app on your phone. And you take a picture, you use your finger, you trace the outline of it, you click finish, and it gives you the, a pure white background. Um, maybe consider doing that at least for the first item because people really like those pure white backgrounds. Like this one right here, this one looks like you almost used PhotoFuse. See the difference in this background versus this one? And I'm not saying these are bad because some of mine are, are similar to this. But I have started using the PhotoFuse app, and it does seem to make a difference um, in, in that pure white background. So I, I would also consider using PhotoFuse. Let's look at some of your solds. And I, I did some calculations. Um, if, if you go back from your cell within a day, one day ago, two days ago, three days ago, I went back about a month. And that took me, let's see, to these boots right here. These are some nice boots, too. These chest night leather, UGG 1958, that sold for $75. Um, and then I just counted your number of sales that you've had. And I think it came out to like 48 over the past month. And if you, I'm sorry, it's 41. And if you divide, if you take 41 and divide it by your number of listings of 1,158, that gives you a sell-through rate. It rounds up to 4%. And I, I'll agree, that is a slow sell-through rate. Now, clothing uh, does tend to be a little bit slower than some other categories like on eBay. Uh, but 4%, you should at least begin at 10%. So then it's, you know, it's time to do our detective work. What, what are the, the issues? Um, your pictures aren't bad and you're, you're taking good, good angles. Like, let's take a closer look at these right here. And your pricing is good. You're getting good prices. So you're not... Um, you're not underselling like some people do. You're not, you're not, you're getting a good premium for these $75. You're getting, let's see. So we got the three quarter profile here. There we get the side profile. It looks like we're getting the front detail. 
Another picture of the front, picture of the tops. We got the brand on the one above it, the tag, which is good, and the bottoms, which are really important on shoes so people can see. This is where you can tell uh, most clearly the condition of the shoes based on the use. So you got two, four, looks like you got about six picks. So not bad on that. Um, I would be curious, once again, if you start using photo views, at least just on one of the pictures, you don't have to do it on all of them, see what a, di a difference in sales that might make. All right, so um, let's, let's sort, this is um, most recent sales and you're getting good prices, so you're doing a good job on that. And of course, um, another factor is when you're, when you're waiting for that premium price and you know what the market price is, it will take a little bit longer, right? So if you wanted to really boost your sales, you know, you can drop those prices. Um, one of the things I like to do every day is I send offers to likers. And I'm not sure if you're doing that or not. Um, you can send it 10%, 20%, 30%. And let me show you what that looks like. Like here's, here's my closet. Um, Here's some of my items. And I also do um, wholesale jewelry in addition to one-offs. So if you go to your news feed, and then this is actually easier to do on your phone. Um, like here, you can see if you got any offers. Um, and you can see this person offered me way too cheap, like $5 for those. I, I counted at 12 and they declined and that's fine. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna sell it that cheap. But if you go to people who like your items, and you may already be aware of this, but for those that don't, um, like this person liked these earrings. So if you click on it, all right, click on the earrings. And once again, Wi-Fi is running really slow. Uh, click offer price drop. And I will typically do this on my phone because it's quicker, much quicker. Um, so click on offer slash price drop. All right, is the internet not working here uh, okay so here, here you could edit, edit the listing price that would drop the whole price i wouldn't do that i would send offer to likers and you can click select and it's hard to talk 10 percent, 20 percent, or 30 percent off um let's just say you want to send a 10 percent off offer apply the offer you do have to select a shipping discount either a full price shipping discount or a partial i typically do the partial unless it's for an order for over $100, and I might do the full price, and, and click Submit. And what that'll do is that'll send that, that offer out to anyone who's liked your items, right? Um, and I would develop a process. I do this daily. A lot of this is just being persistent and consistent, right? And then I would go through this on my phone, and everyone, typically I'll go, everyone who has liked an item over the past 12 hours i will do this in the evening around 8 9 p.m when most people are most active but you can do it at any time right and you can see all these items that have been liked and this is going back 14 hours 17 hours 19 20 21 um, i would go all the way to a day back 24 hours and send offers to likers right and I promise you, when I do this, out of all these items, this isn't just one person. Sometimes multiple people have liked this item. You'll get some sales. So that's a good, a good tip to boost your sales. Take a little bit less, maybe 10%. Um, and that's going to depend on how you're sourcing your items, right? Um, are you getting them at garage sales? Are you getting them at thrift stores? What's the pricing? What margin? What are you looking for? So that kind of depends on your business model. So if you're holding on to that very premium price, well then your sell through rate will be slower. So maybe consider um, sending these offers out to likers, taking 10%, maybe 20% less, but it's selling faster and then you're getting your cash flow in and then you're able to go out there and source more inventory. Um, so that might be something else you might wanna consider, consider Rob. All right, what else? Um, so we said let's use photo fuse maybe consider getting a light box um, increasing the number of followers for you know for being on here for about two years that's not a whole lot of followers like using mine as comparison i have 136,000 followers um i do i did follow 324,000. i did a lot of this in the first six to nine months when i was first getting started and i don't follow as many people actively now 
But anytime you also share, it'll go to the people in your news feed. So that, that might also generate some sales for you. Um, share your closet. Um, positives. I, I do like how you're using the mannequin, right? The mannequin's nice. Um, we, we talked about using photo fuse to get the white background. Now, I'm kind of curious about this angle right here. I, it's a little slanted. What, what, I'm not sure why we're, we're, we're doing the slanted angle on the mannequin. Are we going for that effect? Um, I don't know if that's hurting you or not, but it just, it just seems a little odd that you're using the mannequin. That's nice. Your pictures do look good. Just that white background would help. You have, you're, you've got some good brands you're sourcing. You're selling a lot of shoes, Merrill, which is good. Um, so you're doing a lot of things right. I, I would just summarizing this. Um, you need to share your closet more. That's, that's going to be the biggest thing. And that goes to everyone. Poshmark, it's, you could, it could be good or bad depending on how you look at it. But the more often you share your closet, then your items get bumped to the top of the search results. And most people, when they're searching, they're not going through the news feed. They are actually searching through the listing. So you're much more likely to, to have your items found there. Well, Rob, I hope that helps you um, and, and you other people watching. If you got any more comments or suggestions for Rob, go ahead in the comment section below. Um, comment that to, to him. Also, let's go ahead and follow Rob. His, his closet name is at Classic Images, at Classic Images. Everybody go out there and follow Rob. Give him a boost. Send out some. Um, let's share his closet a little bit. Well, those are on the solds. No reason to, <laughs> to share those, but let's... Let's share some of his closet items. Let's bomb and bombard his closet. Let's try to help him get those cells up. And Rob, I think if you'll do that, if you'll share your closet more, um, start using photo fuse, and maybe consider getting a light box um, to also help with those, those white backgrounds. I think you could really boost your cells because you've got some great items and you're doing a pretty good job. We just got to get that sell through late rate faster um once again guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit, hit that red subscribe button smash the like button if you'd like to be notified when I, I release new videos hit the bell button below comment below let's help out rob and if you would like for me to do a closet review on you i just need a few things i'll need to know your closet name the number of shares you've had in the third past 30 days the number of items listed in your closet and I'll be glad to take a look at your closet and see if I have any suggestions to help boost you up. Well, until next time, guys, happy treasure hunting.